And we go now to uh, Colombia with our correspondent, Natalia Margarita. Natalia, I'm just wondering if you can sort of uh, break this down a little bit for us and give us some more details on this case of uh, Ivan Cepeda. Yeah, well, in fact, um, as you were mentioning before, uh, the general inspector has launched an investigation on uh, allegedly uh, some testimonies that were picked up by Senator Ivan Cepeda against uh, Alvaro Uribe Vélez and that he allegedly, Ivan Cepeda, paid to some paramilitaries for those testimonies. But that, what's beyond that is that here we're not talking about uh, just one paramilitary uh, testifying against uh, Alvaro Uribe, but we're talking of, uh, about at least 29 paramilitaries that have given their accounts on paramilitary uh, ties with uh, former president and nowadays Senator Alvaro Uribe Vélez. Also, we need to remember that this is not the first time that the general General Inspector Alejandro Ordóñez decides to launch an investigation into uh, those senators that have been uh, carrying out debates on Uribe's ties with paramilitaries. It is important to remember also that in 2010, this same general inspector launched an investigation into human rights advocate and back then Senator Piedad Cordova, who in fact was in 2010 uh, removed from her post as senator and also barred from holding public offices for 20 years by this same inspector general. And just one and a half, uh, almost two years ago, this general inspector uh, did the same, intended to do the same with the current mayor of Bogota, Gustavo Petro, who back then was a senator, uh, also holding debates against uh, the uh, exposing the links between Alvaro Uribe and paramilitaries. So what is at stake here or what this latest case with the Senator Ivan Cepeda is exposing is a, a political persecution from the general inspector against all those that uh, in the Congress have been exposing the ties of uh, the inspector general Ali Alvaro Uribe Vélez. And Natalia, let's switch topics here for a second. Elections are approaching quickly there in uh, Colombia. What, uh, what updates do you have for us on elections? We know there have been uh, some investigations related to electoral fraud and some other voters have lost their electoral ID. So is there worry, are there worries about the process there in Colombia? Indeed they are, Cody. Uh, this has to do with uh, electoral crime that has been denounced long time ago that has to do uh, to what we call here in Colombia electoral transhumans, meaning people registering to vote in places other than where they actually live. So as a response to that, the, electoral nation, the National Electoral Council here in Colombia decide to somehow ban some IDs from from votation, uh, but they did a mistake, and it happened that one around 1 million 600 IDs that were actually not involved in this electoral transhumans uh, electoral crime uh, were wrongly banned. So they are trying to solve the problem right now, but we need to remember that we're just a couple of days uh, ahead of elections. So uh, what many people suspect here is that, in fact, many people are not going to be allowed to vote. Well, that's something uh, we will, uh, of course, need to keep an eye on. Natalia Margarita there in Bogota. Natalia, thanks. Back to you, Cody.